Hey guys, it's Crossers, and, well, you've seen the title. Now this is the keypad right here, and the first thing I need to do is enter the most secure, sophisticated password I know. Now this design is tiny, works with any combination, works with anything that gives a comparator output, and, after draining my entire soul out, works on Bedrock too. So this is my new design right here, and I'd say it's pretty tiny, definitely compared to my old design. However, with the size I did have to sacrifice some speed, so this is about the fastest you can press the buttons. Now repeating digits will also work, so I'll demonstrate that right now. Now it also works with lecterns and other things that give off a comparator signal. Now the way these decoders work in the compo lock is starting with this circuit right here. And this just makes it so only the right combination turns out this repeater. So if it's too low, it won't be able to turn off this torch because this is subtracting from here. If it's too high, it'll give a signal strength of 2 and this will stay on. However, if it's on the right one, it'll turn off. Now the second component of a combo lock using a shift register is uh, detecting when the button is pressed, no matter what signal, and turning off this to unlock the repeater. This is fine when you're at or above your signal strength. However, if you're below, this is what poses a problem right here. Now the solution to this is actually pulsing a full signal strength uh, signal right through here. That will always guarantee that this turns off. Now that means you can't use a signal strength of 15 in, in this build, but my old version couldn't use a uh, signal strength of 1 either. Now it does work on Bedrock 2, however the timings are slightly different. But first of all, this repeater is set to 2 ticks instead of 1 tick in the back. And all these repeaters down here instead of 2 ticks are 3 ticks, except this top one which is still 2 ticks. Now there is a special exception because of Bedrock's weird update order with observers and redstone and all that. And basically any block that has redstone on top, you go this layer and you have to think whether your next digit is bigger than your current one. Now if it is, you have to set the repeater to 2 ticks. If not, then it stays at 3 ticks. Now the reason I didn't do an upwards shift register, which is a lot more convenient for the output, is because first of all, it requires a ton of observers and you're better off just making an observer tower or a torch tower uh, in this design than doing this. And also, it is ridiculously slow. That's about the fastest I can press the buttons. So if any of you want to try this thing out, there's a world download in the description. And uh, to set the lock, um, your first digit starts at the top and it goes down. Now, uh, number one will be eight non-sackable items. In each digit you add, you'll just add two uh, non-sackable items. So that's one. That's two. Three. And four, and if you want five, you do that, six, seven, eight, and so on. If you don't want to do that, you could also uh, put a shovel in a furnace and put that output into this comparator on some track mode. And that'll make it so instead, um, empty, an empty barrel would be one, uh, two would be one shovel, three would be two, and then you add two after that. So four, five, six, and so on. So I'll try to get a tutorial up soon, hopefully within the next two weeks. But in the meantime, world downloads are in the description. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later.